When I first learned about cathing and having a self cath, I was in rehab. Um, up until that point, I was getting it done for me by the nurses, by the doctors, by my mom. But one of the requirements to leave rehab was to self cath myself. And honestly, I think that was one of the hardest parts of my injury. I didn't want anything to do with it. I wasn't okay with all these changes that I had to go through. My life had been one way for 17 years and then I, before I know it, like I have to relearn how to do everything. I felt like I was just an infant going through these motions all over again. Having to deal with and accept that I'm paralyzed and I'm in a wheelchair and everything that comes with it, it was just very overwhelming for me. I had lost the sense of like having like to hide my body and like keeping it to myself. And at that point when I got home, I was like, you know what, this is my body and I want it to be only mine and I don't want anybody else to like have anything to do with it. So that's when I took the control and I started cathing on my own. It was scary and it was challenging because sometimes I, I didn't know where to aim. I struggled also with accepting that I had to use a catheter. I didn't want it to be part of my daily thing. I think cathing and my program that I needed to do for the bathroom, those were the biggest challenges. And I remember always saying, if I had control of my bowel program, if I had control of my bladder, like this injury would be so much easier. But now it's just become second nature. I don't even think about it. The healthiest thing you can do for yourself is be on top of it. Because I remember when I was really recently injured and my window frame is four to six hours, I would go over that because I just didn't even want to deal with having to go in the bathroom and having a cath. You have to just roll with the punches, and if cathing is something that you have to do to keep yourself healthy and keep yourself good, then that's what you have to do. Some of the things that give me a feeling of independence is having my driver's license, having my car, and be able to go out anywhere I need to go. I don't have to rely on anybody. Uh, another thing is traveling. That's given me a bigger sense of independence. With the dance team, we're traveling all over the country, and just the fact that we can actually do that and not have to rely on maybe a caretaker, that's what fulfills me the most, that I'm still able to do what I was doing prior to my accident. I chose Believe mainly because it was a word of encouragement for myself. It was a reminder that I can get through cathing. I can get through a lot of the challenges that came with being in a chair, and I believe that I was going to get through them and move on with my life.